Good morning, my beauties, and Ben, my dude, is back. We are here at Disney's Animal Kingdom, but we're not going to Animal Kingdom just yet. We are going to breakfast at none other than the Rainforest Cafe. If you watched my channel a few years back, you may or may not remember that I did go to Rainforest Cafe for breakfast. Um, from what I remember, it was pretty good. Menu was, eh. So yeah, it's definitely been a while. I'm sure some things have changed, but given by Disney standards, eh, probably not. Either way, we're excited, so let's head on in, get some breakfast, because yeah. Yeah, uh, we're hungry. I'm hungry. All, All right, Ben, right. lead the way. Let's go. I'm excited. Oh, we can get the park. oh my. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. It's a really, really cool vibe in here. Okay, so looking at the menu, it does look exactly the same as last time. And yeah, from what I remember, I did get the Breakfast of Bandits. The eggs that they sell here are really, really good. But Ben and I are looking at this Tonga toast. Cinnamon French toast with maple syrup, strawberries, and bananas. That sounds fantastic. What do you think? Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go with that. Immediately off the bat when I saw that. The other thing was up high as a viper, but I don't think I would want to get spicy food right away in the morning. Yeah. Probably not the best way to kick off your morning but also a breakfast pizza what are we in high school yeah that's that's fair a few inches later whoa ben what did you get <laughs> i got a smoothie but look at that it oh whoa it, it has a projection on the bottom that's cool i'm impressed a plus breakfast so far absolutely let's give this a taste you're gonna pop that cherry first are you just are you just gonna go for it delicious delicious Probably one of the best maraschino cherries I've had. It looks good. I rate this a 9 out of 10. That good? Yeah. Now me being the lame that I am, just went for a standard Diet Coke. One dead brain cell at a time. Wow, this looks fantastic. We got the Tonga Toast. So it's going to be French toast topped with bananas, strawberries, and of course we got the bacon. This bacon looks pretty decent. A little flabby though. That bacon's pretty good. You gotta pour the syrup. Gotta drown this thing in syrup. Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be great. Jeez, Ben, you're just going in already. How is it? Oh. A plus. Let's just dive in, I'm starving. Oh my gosh. That might be the best French toast I've ever had. That's incredible. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. I know it's French toast, but that is fantastic. There's just so much flavor to this French toast. It's incredible. It's also the fact that they give you so much French toast for like, what was it, $15, something yeah. like that? Very, very good price. Yeah, you get more food here than you would at any oh, Disney oh, restaurant. Oh yeah, absolutely. And a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. Depending on which restaurant you go to, a lot of the third party restaurants are a lot cheaper than the first party restaurants. And you get more food too, think about that. 20 minutes later. All right, Ben, what did you think of Rainforest Cafe? Wow, I'm definitely gonna come back again for breakfast. Oh, I mean, absolutely. That was by far one of the best Disney breakfasts I've ever had. And Animal Kingdom, I do love Tusker House, but this is definitely a cheaper, delicious option as well. Yeah, like I said earlier, third-party restaurants, depending on where you go, they're pretty affordable. And plus, you get your discount here too, so if you're a cast member, annual pass holder, you get that discount. So it's worth it. Like, I will definitely, definitely come back here soon. But one one thing that Ben doesn't know is that there's a secret entrance into Animal Kingdom that we're about to take. Good morning. Morning. Oh, you must get some great pictures. Look at that lens. <laughs> Look at that. You got it. Well, Ben, it's 50 minutes, but hey, someone's gotta do it, right? You're right. Hear me out. If they were to replace Dinosaur with Indiana Jones, how would you feel about that? I'd be excited, I'd be over the moon. I love Indiana Jones. Like, the ride in Disneyland, I've heard, is superior, mm -hmm. so just yeah. bring it here. Yeah, think about this. With all the rumors going out and about as to what they're going to potentially re-theme Dino Land to, if they're gonna replace Dinosaur, just replace it with Indiana Jones. The main reason being is that they share the same exact ride system. They would just have to do a little bit of re-theming, Maybe a few tweaks with the ride system itself, but other than that, it would not be that complicated. Hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. 
Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with, with the, the cosmic time. generator. It's like this. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. And I'm certain that he is the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. I tagged him with a locator during an unauthorized field trip. Otherwise, Otherwise I'd be going with you. you. What are you tracking? Skyracosaurus. Not, Not our dino. <laughs> that is called cannibalism, my dear children, and is in fact frowned upon in most societies. I'm tracking a big dino on the sky. Whoa. Could be ours. Computer, full stop. Whoa. Identify. Carnivorous. Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Another big guy coming up. Computer. Slow and identify. Sauropod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Pterodactyl. Incoming! Asteroid. Oh! 60 seconds. We can't stop now. Keep going, keep going. Comps on Mavis. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Computer, what's happening? Oh, Attraction. That's it! Abort mission! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! Asteroid impact. Brace yourself! Sit down! They're not gonna make it! They're not gonna make it! Oh my goodness, we made, made it! Yeah! yeah. Ben, what are we about to wait for? Flight of passage. Remind the viewers at home what the wait time is. 125 minutes, which is two hours and five minutes. Yeah! We're about to do it. But in the meantime, show the viewers at home what you got. I got the rum blossom. So basically just an alcoholic night blossom. Yeah. Is it good? Uh, I love rum. Uh, I did see the tequila option, but I was like, ah, I'll stick with rum. Take the safer route. Just don't, just don't go loopy on me while we're in line, okay?
Well, Ben, we did it. We, we braved the two hour line for we, Flight of Passage. We really we did. did it. What are we about to do right now? We're gonna go to Satuli? Satuli Canteen. Satuli Canteen. You've never been here before. No, I've never. been here a few times. I love it. Probably my favorite quick service at Animal Kingdom. I like to tell people that it's like Chipotle, but it's a much better Chipotle. Oh boy. What do you think, Ben? First impressions? This is cool. Yeah? Yeah. I'm excited for you. Oh, I'm really excited. Five minutes later. Whoa, mama. That's a lot of food. It looks so good. Ben looks excited. Yeah. His looks fantastic, honestly. Oh, yeah. All right, Ben. Your shrimp bowl with the noodles. Dig in, my dude. Some shrimp. Get some noodles. Looks really, really good. Wow. Good? <laughs> really good. I told you. Oh yeah, that's, this hits. Now for me, I pretty much got my go-to, the combination bowl, grilled beef and chicken. So for the babes, we got the rice and beans. For the sauce, we have the creamy herb sauce. And of course, the little tiny boba balls. You know what? We're just gonna grab a fork, grab some chicken, and dig in. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That has such a fresh taste too. I would go as far as to say that this is a perfect quick service. Good food, good atmosphere. I don't have anything bad to say about this place. I do want to get some of that creamy herb sauce in there though with that coleslaw. Mm. Oh wow. I wish they could sell me like a jar of the herb sauce. That stuff, I could just consume all on its own. It is that good. Look at this elegance, like you can kind of see it. Let's get some of the beef. The beef is like so flavorful, so tender. That's incredible. Like this for me gets a good nine out of 10. The reason it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because there's not more. Looks like you got that metcayena mousse, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That looks absolutely phenomenal. That looks better than the blueberry cream cheese mousse that I got right here. Yeah. You gonna dig in? I'm gonna dig in. Go for it, my dude. We got a little, little chocolate, chocolate feather. Mm. This tastes like the 50th uh, pendant. The medallions yeah. that they have, yeah. Oh boy. Very chocolatey, really good. Very rich. Mm -hmm. That's how it is with a lot of like Disney chocolate desserts. There was a hint of fruit in there. I think it was like raspberry, but really good. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got like a cherry filling or a raspberry Was that the raspberry? That might be what I'm tasting there, yeah. Another chocolate piece. Also, the lighting looks really good thanks to this lens. You gotta try the uh, boba balls though. Pretty juicy. I can't think of another Lemon, word that rhymes. Lemon, lemony. Lemony. And now for my go-to dessert, the blueberry cream cheese mousse. One of the most underrated desserts on Disney property, in my opinion. The name literally speaks for itself, but also, I love the little meringue pieces. Do you ever had one of these? The melt on your tongue kind of thing? Here, go for it. Go for it. You give a better reaction than I do to a lot of things. Ooh, good soup. <laughs> really good, wow. Oh yeah, and we got our little uh, piece of chocolate. Tastes exactly like Disney chocolate. You know what that piece reminds me of? Those marshmallows that you get in Lucky Charms. Oh, yeah. They just melt away. Yeah, but also, I forget what fruit this is, but. No, it's like an egg yolk. It does. I've said that for years since this place opened. This thing just looks like an egg yolk. It's still really good. Really, really good. Let's go for the actual mousse, because this stuff is absolutely heavenly. Oh, yeah, you're going to try some of this, too. All right, let's go for it. Oh my goodness. It is so, so good. What do you think? Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Very light. It's not overly sweet, too. No. Like, compared to like a regular cheesecake. That's exactly what it came to my mind. It tastes like blueberry cheesecake. Mm -hmm. But now I am going to try some of this. Oh boy. Whoa, that's incredible. Very rich in terms of chocolate flavor, but that's the case across the board with any chocolate Disney dessert. In terms of the dessert itself, oh, I think I like this more than the cheesecake. I think I like this more than the cream cheese mousse. Oh man, I've always raved about this, but mm, I think I've been converted. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. This is getting an infinity out of 10. All right, my beauties, we are back at home. First thing to note, this vlog should have came out a long time ago, 
so I do apologize about that. Uh, second thing, I know I probably look disgusting, but hey, that's what happens when you go to the gym. Let's talk Animal Kingdom. First off, Rainforest Cafe. Wow, I cannot stop thinking about that place, even up to now. That French toast, the best French toast I've ever had. And that's coming from a Rainforest Cafe, of all places. Think about that, and $15 for something like that? That is a pretty sweet deal, in my opinion. And it is, again, worth noting that you get all of your discounts with that, so I actually paid less than $15 for that. Think about that. It's just that French toast had so much flavor to it. It was so good. There was so much. Like the portion was ginormous. It was basically three giganto slices of Texas toast sliced diagonally in half. Oh my gosh. I just, I cannot stop thinking about it. That's how good it was. And then in terms of the rides, even though we only did dinosaur and flight of passage, two of what I would say are the best rides in Animal Kingdom. I mean, I love Everest as much as the next guy, but come on. Dinosaur is dinosaur. You can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong with Dr. C. But also the fact that Ben and I braved a two hour line for Flight of Passage, I will say, it didn't feel like two hours. I know it was two hours because I checked the time afterwards, but it just didn't feel like it. I think that's because Flight of Passage is one of those rides where the line feels like it's constantly moving. Like there were maybe only two, three times where it actually felt like we were stopped for a good amount of time. Other than that, the line was pretty much in constant motion, which is a good thing. And then Satuli Canteen, that was kind of unexpected. Honestly, I think we just just wanted to eat there because we were bored. We had nothing else to do. It was getting late in the day. We were bored. We just wanted to do something. But I can definitely say going there was a good idea. I love Satuli Canteen so much. One of my all-time favorite Disney quick services. Yes, it is more on the expensive side. I would say probably the most expensive Disney quick service on property, but it is so beyond worth it. The food, so fresh, so flavorful, so tasty. I would say well worth the price. But all in all, great day. I'm glad Ben and I got to go out there. I'm glad you guys got to share this experience with us as well. It was such a great one. But as always, we do this every single week, so make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Alrighty, my beauties. I love y'all. Take care, and I'll see y'all next time.